right, welcome back. Both of my pieces of paper are dry now, so I'm gonna start the weaving process. So, I'll show you. So here's the first piece that I did. And so, it's nice and dry, so what we're gonna do is take your piece and we're gonna fold them in half. And if it's a square, it doesn't matter which direction it is. So I'm gonna take it, fold it in half. And now, we're gonna cut strips into it, except you're not going to cut all the way through. So I'll show you for the first one. I'm gonna cut from the middle where it's folded. So here is where it's folded. And so I'm gonna cut from this middle up until where it's open. And I'm gonna not cut all the way through. So I'm gonna just give a little space on the side and I'm gonna cut down between both halves of the paper and then I'm gonna stop. So there's some space between the cut and the edge. And so what you're gonna do is make a bunch of slits like this so that the paper stays together. So I'm gonna keep doing that, cutting from the middle where it's folded up to the edge, but not all the way. And you can make a bunch of wide slits or a bunch of thin slits. And make a few. And again, just being careful to not cut to not cut all the way to the end. You can also make your cuts the same distance apart or they can be different different distances apart. It's up to you. So this is gonna be my last one. So again, it didn't cut all the way to the end. So now when I open it up, I have all these little flaps. And so this is kind of like a loom. So I made sort of a paper equivalent of a loom, which is how you would weave with yarn. So since we're weaving with paper, I made a kind of paper loom. So now we're gonna take this and put it off to the side because now we're gonna cut our second piece of paper. Except this time, we're not gonna fold the paper and we are gonna cut all the way through. So you can start at either end and you're just gonna cut strips out of the piece of paper. You don't want to lose them, so I'm going to keep mine in a pile right next to me. And these are going to be the pieces of paper that you weave through the other piece of paper that we just made into our loom. And all the pieces don't have to be the same. Mine are all gonna be different sizes and they're not all perfectly straight and that's okay. But if you want them to be all equal and all the same and you want them to be straight, you can use a ruler for that. Or if you don't have a ruler, you could also use a nice edge like a notebook, um, a, thick, a thick piece of paper, that will help you also to draw some straight lines that you could cut, pile, cut through. All right, so now that I've cut all my strips, I'm gonna bring back my loom and I'm gonna start weaving. So I'm gonna move my paints out of the way. And now here is where you might want a piece of tape. So it can be helpful to just put a little piece of tape in the top of your piece and tape it to your table so 
that it doesn't wiggle around too much. And you can put more tape, you can put less tape. You can also put tape at the bottom. However, it makes it a little bit easier for you. So I'm gonna take one of my strips and I'm gonna start weaving. So part of weaving is going over, under, over, under. So for my first strip, I'm gonna start with going under the first piece means I'm going to go over the second piece. This might be a little tricky to see, but here's one piece, and then here's the second piece. So here's the third piece. So because I just went over, I'm now going to go under. And I'm going to keep alternating. So for the next one, I'm going to go over, and then the next one after that, I'm going to go under. Over, under, over, under. And then I gently push that piece up as far as it can go. And then once it's there, I'm gonna leave it. So now I'm gonna grab my second strip. And this time, because I went under last time, I'm gonna start going over. So that means for the second piece, I'm gonna go under. So it's gonna be the opposite every time you put in a new paper strip. So over the first piece, under the second, and then I'm gonna keep alternating. Over, and under, over, and under, over, and under, and then I'm gonna end with it over. So now you can see they're opposite. This one started under, this one started over. So now we're gonna do it again, and we're gonna switch again. So this time we're gonna start under because last time we started over. So I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, Under and over, under and over. I'm gonna end under. And again, I'm gonna just gently push those pieces up as far as they can go. It's okay if they don't touch each other. And there's a the start. So now I'm going to keep doing that with the rest of my strips until they fit. So because we left a border, not all the new pieces will fit, but we'll see how many we can get in here. So last time we started under on the first strip, so this time we're going to start over. So I'm going to get my second piece ready for going under, so I'm going to go over and then under, over. And then under, over, and then under, over, and then under, and then I end with it over. So for me, it looks like I can fit maybe one more piece. So I'm gonna push these up just a little bit more if they will. Give me a little more room. And then I'm gonna pick one more. This will be the last one for me. But if you have more pieces that fit, you're gonna follow the same pattern. So this one was over, and because that was the last one we did, we're now gonna start under. So under the first strip, and over the second strip, and under the next strip. Sometimes, if you're getting close to the end, it can get a little bit harder to lift the pieces up. If you're gentle, you can usually carefully get them through. And if you need a little bit more room, sometimes you can push the pieces up a little bit more. There we go. Then over and then under again. And 
over and then under again. Wiggle it a little bit to see if I can push it through gently. And then over and then under the last one. And wiggle it a little. There we go. There you go. So, you can see, here's my watercolor paper weaving. So you can do this lots of different times using lots of different colors. Mine's really bright and colorful. You can do different kinds of colors. And I still have some leftover strips that didn't fit. So I can turn these into bookmarks or I can save them for a future paper weaving that I want to do. So hold on to them. Maybe you'll find a creative idea for them. And there we have it, our paper painted weaving. Hope you have fun.